What is up, guys? It is your Corona Server bringing you guys the WWE Raw review of tonight's show out of Dallas, Texas, the April 4th edition of Raw. One hell of a show tonight, the Raw after WrestleMania. Um, before this video does start, please slash that like button down below for your Corona Server blade. And also, subscribe if you are new for more WWE content as well. Um, I'm just going to get right into this. Um, you have the show open up with uh, Vince McMahon and Shane McMahon. Um, basically, Vince McMahon actually lets Shane McMahon take over for tonight. Um, that's basically the first 10 minutes. Um, you get the show kicked off um, with actually... Uh, what was it? Kick the show off with... I think it was... I know some of these matches are going to be out of order, but... Um, Apollo Crews. You have like a, you have three NXT people um, actually de debuting tonight. Um, actually, no, it was actually uh, the New Day. Um, New Day um, going against the League of Nations. This match only went around about five minutes. Uh, New Day retained the titles tonight. Um, they actually uh, the League of Nations actually says, "Oh, we are spotting the weakest link in our team," and they actually hold up Wade Barrett and actually beat the shit out of Wade Barrett. So Wade Barrett's out now. Um, what do you see? You see the Wyatts coming down to the ring and actually beating the shit out of League of Nations. So, possible League of Nations feud. Kill me if that's the possibility, because I do not want to see that. Um, League of Nations, complete scrubs. Um, the crowd was, che crowd was cheering, um, these guys suck. 100%, uh, 100%, um, good crowd tonight. Crowd was completely insane tonight, so I appreciate you guys if you were watching, if you were there. 100% good crowd tonight. You guys were goddamn good. Um, very exciting. You guys showed your opinions. Um, that is the, is the Raw for WrestleMania. So everybody that was at WrestleMania is going to be at the Raw anyways. So they know what they're uh, talking about and know what the product is. Um, New Day retaining. Um, you got the Wyatts coming down, beating the shit out of the League of Nations. Leave them in a complete scrub, trash in the ring. And uh, Bray Wyatt actually getting cheered. And the crowd's cheering, shit, thank you, Wyatt. Da, 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 da. Thank you, Wyatt. Because Sheamus was trying to cut a promo over Wade Barrett and beating the shit out of Wade Barrett. So, got interrupted, got their ass kicked by the Wyatts. Hopefully, it's not a few with the League of Nations. Maybe they're just trying to send a statement. They use the League of Nations as scrubs as they use for um, just for a statement or something like that. But hopefully, there's not a few with the League of Nations, please. Um, or the New Day, please. Um, after that, you actually got Apollo Crews actually debuting um, tonight on Raw. Um, actually going against Tyler Breeze. I thought this match would probably go for around about 20 minutes. What's this match go? It goes for, goes for about 3 minutes. Basically, this match consisted of a um, two power bombs, a kick, a throw outside of the ring, a few clotheslines, and uh, Apollo Crews is finished with the flying moonsault and the uh, spin out power bomb. That's basically all the match consisted, consisted of. Tyler Breeze, a complete jobbing scrub. Feel bad for him now. Um, thought it was going to go around about 20 minutes. They were going to put us one hell of a classic match. Did not even go two minutes. Um, all for Apollo Crews, 100% going to win this match no matter what. Um, he makes his debut tonight on Raw. Um, you got the, uh, what was it? Um, Zack Ryder versus The Miz. Um, Basically, Zack Ryder comes out, and I knew this was going to happen anyway. Zack Ryder actually won the IC title last night at Mania. I was like, I bet you guys $100 that tomorrow on Raw, Zack Ryder's going to lose the IC title to some scrub. What's he do? He loses the title to Miz tonight due to outside interference. His dad was sitting in the crowd, and um, the Miz's wife, Maurice, comes out and actually slaps his dad. So actually distracts, distracting um, Ryder, and he actually gets the skull-crushing finale and actually loses the title when he only had it barely 23 hours. So... Um, Zack Ryder losing the title, and now tomorrow on SmackDown, it's, or, uh, the SmackDown tapings, it's supposed to be a rematch clause, so, um, I swear if they take the title off Miz and put it back on Zack Ryder, then it's gonna be completely worth the title, just like the U.S. title, um, speaking of the U.S. title, that wasn't even on the show tonight, but, um, Zack Ryder loses the title to the Miz tonight, um, Maurice, one damn hot, super damn hot, uh, she's actually looking very, very good. Um, since she actually left, she's looking 100% good. Um, told you guys, I told you guys so much. Uh, Zack Ryder going to lose, in, I bet you guys $100 that Zack Ryder's going to lose the title tomorrow on Raw to some scrub. What happens? He loses it to The Miz in around about a five minute match. So, um, Zack Ryder, again, is a complete scrub. The crowd was completely dead during this match towards around about the end. Nobody gave a shit about Ryder. 
Um, nobody gave a shit about the Miz either. Complete, the title set was way up here. Now it's way down on the bottom of the damn barrel. It's sinking with the Titanic right now. Um, along with U.S. Championship. Um, Baron Corbin actually making his debut tonight. One hell of a match. Um, Bear, Baron Corbin and actually Dolph Ziggler. This match went around about 10 minutes. Um, it actually ends up in a DQ. Dolph Ziggler actually gets the victory, but it's actually a DQ. Actually, it's a count-up victory because... Um, they did not get back to the ring in time. Nobody was in the ring, so basically, I think it was a draw. Um, Baron Corbin beating the shit out of Ziggler in the crowd. Um, they made Baron Corbin look super, super good tonight. He gave a decent promo before the match. Um, Baron Corbin very, very good on the mic. You can tell he's grown a lot since he came from NXT. The crowd knew who he was. Um, fed him to Dolph Ziggler tonight. Um, when he hit the, hit the deep six, I thought, okay, this match is over. Dolph Ziggler actually kick, kicked out of the deep six. I was like, okay. Um, then it ends up going to the count out. And actually on the outside, uh, Ziggler actually tries running into um, Corbin. Corbin goes for the end of the day and completely plants Ziggler on the back of his head on the outside of the ring. And he actually sends a statement and actually walks out. So very, very good debut for Baron Corbin. I liked it a lot. Fed him to Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler means nothing now. But... Um, Baron Corbin. Uh, hopefully they actually, it's not going to be one of those things where he ends up like a Bo Dallas or a Curtis Axel. Um, he's one of those people, he's six, six, six foot eight, so Vince McMahon should like him. Um, Vince McMahon usually likes those tall ass guys like Big Show and Kane. Um, so Baron Corbin, I see bright future for Baron Corbin on the main roster. Hopefully can't be done and Vince McMahon don't fuck it up. Um, the Usos versus the Dudleys um, in a tables match. Uh, this match only went around about five minutes. Uh, the Dudleys actually win. They, actually, they were set up on tables. They actually move right when the Usos fly down for the um, frog splash, putting themselves through the table, so the Dudleys do win. Um, as the Dudleys are, are actually in the ring, walking out, who do you, whose music do you play here playing? Um, actually, um, what was it? Um, Enzo Amore and Big Cass uh, coming down to the ring. Um, the hottest tag team basically from NXT. They make their main roster debut tonight. Um, soft. So um, they come down. They, Enzo Amore, so damn good on the mic. I was laughing my ass off the whole time. He said something about uh, Devon's hairline. I was like, <laughs> Then he said something about Devon's lazy eyes. I'll take that motherfucker and shove it back into working order. Uh, he was completely hilarious on the mic. Big Cass had a few spots as well on the mic. Um, they tried to keep the mic on to Enzo because he's clearly 100% good on the mic. Um, Big Cass, decent on the mic, but he's not really meant to be on the mic. He's more meant to just be standing there for the muscle of the group. Um, supposedly, uh, Dudley's and and, and, and uh, Soft um, feud uh, is going to be going into the... Um, future here, so wouldn't mind looking forward to that. Uh, Dudley's T's coming down to the ring, beating the shit out of, out of him, but they pussy out. So hopefully this continues on the next few weeks. Get a good bill for this in the next pay per view. Um, Enzo, Enzo and Cass actually making their debut tonight on Raw. Um, you have the Divas Championship un unveiling with Lita. Um, this basically just breaks down. All the Divas leave out of the ring. Lita says some shit about the title. She leaves. It breaks down to basically it's Natty and actually um, Charlotte. Natty actually says, I'm not quite sure why I haven't got a sh shot for that title yet, ain't I? And it's so supposedly maybe Nat Natalia and Charlotte building towards a feud, even though I thought it was supposed to be Sh Sasha Banks and Becky still. Um, Sasha got screwed last night at WrestleMania, so maybe they'll build into a triple threat and Becky Lynch will find her own feud. I'm not quite sure what they're going to do. We'll find out next few weeks on Raw. Um, Dr. Phil announced on Raw, um, Roman Reigns comes down and actually cuts a short promo. Um, the amount of booze in that building, not as bad as Messel made last night, but absolutely everybody in that building was booing the shit out of Roman Reigns. Um, the WWE actually has the balls to actually take the mics and actually turn the volume down on the mics just to lower the booze. The booze were high, super high. They had the mics turned up for the New Day segment way, way lower when you heard the booze. For Roman Reigns, so they turned down the mics down in the sound area. Um, they're not stupid; they know what to do. Um, cuts out. He's like, um, he's like, oh come on, guys! Everybody's booing the shit out of. Come on, guys! Come on! You know you like it. I'm not the bad guy. I'm not the good guy. 
I'm the guy, and he gets completely brain full of booze. Um, so they're supposedly building him as a neutral guy. He's not good, he's not bad, he's just there. So basically, what are you going to do with him? He's not a good guy, he's not a bad guy. What, does this mean he's going to be forming heal tactics and face tactics? Is that what this means? Um, then he's like, uh, can I, I, if anybody wants this WWE Championship, they come down to the ring right now. Who do you see come out? You have Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, um, Chris Jericho, AJ Styles coming down to the ring. They break into a big ball. Uh, Chris Jericho gets a spear. That's all the segment is. He gets booed out of the building as he's walking up the ramp. Reigns does. Um, completely p pointless segment, but we actually got our main event announced. Um, it's actually going to be Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, AJ Styles, and um, Chris Jericho. Um, main event rolls around. Um, thinking if I'm going to forget if I'm forgetting something. Oh, uh, Sasha Banks versus um, Summer Rae went for about three minutes. Sasha Banks wins via bank statement. That's all you need to know about that match. Um, not quite sure if I'm forgetting anything else. Hopefully I'm not, but I'm just going to go to the main event right now. This main event is probably the match of the night. Um, Pre-match, actually, um, Sami Zayn actually gets powerbombed through a table backstage. So he's out. They're looking for somebody else to actually join the match. Um, so it's Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, and AJ Styles at this point. Um, whose music do you play? You hear, you hear Cesaro's music. So Cesaro, back on Raw tonight. Um, supposedly he's cleared. We've been hearing he's cleared for, I don't know, a few, few weeks now since before Mania. Um, they finally bring him back right now. Um, how, huge pop from the crowd tonight, which I w did expect. Um, probably the fan favorite to win this match, but anybody in this match, to be honest, would, wouldn't would really mind going against um, Reigns because anybody's better than Reigns, to be honest. They're going to get cheered no matter what. Um, I really thought it was going to be Jericho because they want Reigns to be at the face and they want Jericho to be the heel. Um, as I teased earlier, uh, this match ran about, around about 20 to 25 minutes. Very, very good match. Probably the match of the night, so if you're not seeing it, you better go back and watch it. Um, a lot of high spots, a lot of different spots. Cesaro completely kicking ass in the ring. A lot of near falls, um, finishers from everybody. Um, in the end, though, you have actually uh, AJ Styles landing the Styles Clash on Chris Jericho and actually picking up the victory. AJ Styles, number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So this basically makes AJ Styles an instant um, face in this battle. And Roman Reigns supposedly is supposed to be the face. Going, It's actually going to be booed out of the goddamn building every time AJ Styles out with Roman Reigns now. So that's basically they're setting themselves up for failure with Roman Reigns. Reigns is going to get completely booed. AJ Styles is going to get all the cheers now going into this. I do not mind seeing Roman Reigns and AJ Styles. I, it's the least taller, bro. You know AJ Styles is a good damn worker. Um, he did actually the big ass uh, 450 splash from the top rope tonight. He did. A, he was completely flying around the ring. Um, so talented. Uh, along with Cesaro, <laughs> he had the he had the uh, three uppercut train going with Chris Jericho, uh, Owens, and uh, AJ. They had a three uppercut train. A lot of near falls where I actually thought Cesaro was gonna win, shit like that, but. Um, Planning on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to keep feuding. Supposedly, Sami Zayn actually had his shoulder injured during the segment when he actually got the brawl with Roman Reigns out in the ring. Um, he was walking back. Supposedly, somebody reported it on Twitter that he actually had his... He was actually holding his shoulder going backstage. So that's maybe why they took him out of the match and actually decided to put Cesaro there. Not quite sure, but... Um, maybe there's a saving for Cesaro for SmackDown. Not quite sure as well, but... Um, Cesaro, back tonight. But AJ Styles, number one contender for the WWE World Champ Heavyweight Championship. Um, is that, is, that is it, guys. So, um, if you guys enjoy this, uh, please slash that like button down below for your Corona Stairblade. And also, if you are new, hit that subscribe button down below as well. Really, really helps me out and gets you guys a shitload of good content coming you guys' way. Did not have time to do a WrestleMania review because I basically missed half the show. The only two matches I actually did actually watch were the Shane McMahon, Undertaker, and the last main event. So, couldn't really do a review on it if I actually didn't see it live. Uh, so, that's the reason why I did not do one. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time. Peace.